Now everybody knows by now we do RV repair and we're in North Carolina, but I gotta show you something really cool. We have an air conditioner built into an ambulance. We have three air conditioners, we have a generator that runs it, and we have a window unit we just put in with a nice drip tray, all aluminum. Now, how do we plug this into shore power? The old outlet I have, this is a new one. The old one was $800. And it was for an ambulance and it's, it was a pop-off. I don't need all that stuff. I didn't have the other end, so I got an RV smart plug. Check it out. It's all stainless steel, the rubber insert. That's all stainless and tough, tough, tough plastic. But these, I mean, this is just made heavy duty, guys. But it matches the ambulance. That's why I like it. We used the base plate, the stainless steel base plate there, and we kind of had to customize it a little. But what's cool about that is it works and it doesn't fall off like most. This is the other side of the plug right here. This is our used one for our van. I have another one, a new one came with, but I use this one because it's already on a cord. Right here, plug it in, and now we're plugged in. So this is a 30 amp plug to come in 50 amp too. Take this 30 amp right here, you can plug it down to a generator, which is the Honda, it takes hardly any fuel, like a gallon a day. We'll put a 110 adapter on here, or we'll come over here when we're home or at RV parks, and we'll plug into power right here. Just like that. So now we're on 30 amp shore power. Now this ambulance is fully equipped with everything now. Now we have a, a big inverter inside. Now we can run on 30 amps. We can plug it into the generator, but we're not, we don't need it right now. We're at home. But we can plug into any RV park 30 amp with the ambulance. So if you look right here, we have a, a refrigerator in here. It's at like 40 degrees. And we keep this sucker up. Oh, it's at 41. We're gonna lower it to 39. It's on eco mode. This only takes, I think, five amps. This AC unit takes like six amps or even five. I think five, or even four while running, I think. But the drip tray is really good because we've got this all drip down here to the outside. Now we have to keep this door open. We'll put some cones here when we run it. We can't run this going down the road, but we have another AC for that. So this is the inside window unit right here. We got it nice trimmed out and everything. That was kind of a pain to put in, but we got it in. This is our charging station with laptops. This right here is our, our second AC, so when we're running ambulance down the road, we can run this. We just turn the AC on here and on the dash, and it starts this up, which is really nice. So this is a work vehicle. We put shelves in. It's really cool. Okay, we're over to the smart plug on the van now. It's a plastic one, but... This has not broke yet, so that's why I trust this. And this is on one of the work bands right here. So we wired that in because we have light bars on this and stuff. This is the one I put on another video previously. But, you know, I thought because it was plastic it was going to break. We beat the heck out of this thing. It doesn't break. I mean, I slam this. I drive with the plug falling out. And I just, I mean, I drive away and the plug's still plugged in. I mean, I don't clip it in all the time because sometimes when I drive away, I got to drive away quick and I forget. But it hasn't broke yet, so I love it. See, that runs a light bar right there. So this is one of our rental RVs, and I want to show you um, the difference. These are the cheaper, these are on RVs right here. Now this plug's not too bad, it's a twist lock, but they're still junky, they're just, you can see how they're made, they're, they just break all the time. This is actually a better one, and it's still garbage. Um, it's just cheesy, look, it's junk. The real cheap ones for 25 bucks, this is like a $50 one, but the $25 ones, they break off. You can't even wire them. I mean, I do this all the time, guys. I, it, they're just garbage. I can't deal with garbage when you want reliability. I'm not doing it. Because cheap is expensive. So, spend a couple bucks more, get the smart plug, and you'll be done. You're done. You don't have to worry about anything else. What I like most about this setup is you hit this like this, take it off, and you can use this in the van, it's backwards compatible. So the this is one for, I think, for a boat, right here, marine. But it doesn't matter, you can put anything you want, just a little bit more of the stainless. We got a, a lithium charger and a lithium battery in this. We're gonna get two uh, batteries, the two uh, 400 amp hours, there's only 100 amp hours in here now. But this ambulance draws a lot of power from all the resources, so we need a lot of power. We'll put some solar panels on the roof too, some solar panels. But for now, I can charge with this or have a big charger inside. We can charge it both. We can run an AC, DC, inverter mode, anything. So uh, this battery right here, this one battery can actually run um, AC for about three or four hours. So that's pretty cool. But I really need, maybe three hours, but I really need 400 amp hours so we can run on battery all the time. But until then, we have the smart plug. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.